Hello Grade 9! In this video, we will be discussing quantum mechanical model. So before we proceed with the quantum mechanical model, let's have first a short review of the development of the atomic model. So ano nga ba yung mga sinauna or yung mga naunang mga atomic models na pinopost ng mga scientists? So first one, we have the billiard ball model in 1803 proposed by John Dalton. From the word billiard ball, okay, so ito lang siya. So sa idea ni John Dalton, sa pinopost niya atomic model, sinasabi niya dito na ang mga atoms ay katulad lang ng isang bola ng billiard. Kung saan solid lang siya, spherical yung shape, and walang ibang parts. Okay, so this was during 1803. It is followed by the plum pudding model in 1904 by Joseph John or J.J. Thompson. So, ito si J.J. Thompson. And ito yung kanyang plum pudding model. Now, itong plum pudding model or tinatawag din siya na raisin bun model, okay, inihalin tulad ni Joseph John Thompson ang isang atom sa isang uh, slice ng tinapay. Okay, na merong raisins or yung may pasas. So, sinasabi niya na yung buong tinapay o yung buong atom ay positively charged. Okay? Habang yung mga pasas na nasa paligid niya, yan, yung nasa loob mismo ng tinapay, yun yung mga electrons or yung negatively charged particles. Okay? So, kaya ito tinawag na plum pudding or raisin bun model. Next model, we have what we call nuclear model in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford. Okay? So, ito ngayon yung itsura ng nuclear model. Now, na-develop ni Ernest Rutherford itong nuclear model through his uh, gold foil experiment. Doon kasi sa uh, experiment niya, natuklasan niya na yung gitnang part ng mga atoms ay merong positively charged. Okay? So, merong positively charged particle na nasa pinakagitna ng atoms. And the rest ng parts ng uh, atom ay puro space na lang kung saan nandoon yung mga electrons. So, ito yung tinatawag na nuclear model. So, si Ernest Rutherford uh, together with Niels Bohr ay nagkaroon ng uh, another proposal for the uh, atomic model. So, ito naman yung kanilang proposed na atomic model. So, from uh, Ernest Rutherford's uh, nuclear model, dito, uh, nung pinagsama nila yung kanilang mga experiments kay ni Niels Bohr, nagkaroon ngayon sila ng idea na yung electrons ay umiikot along uh, different orbits. Okay? Ayan. So, yan yung kanilang uh, Rutherford-Bohr model. Now, uh, Si Niels Bohr ay nag-develop pa ulit ng isa pang uh, atomic model which we call planetary model. Okay? It was proposed uh, during 1913. So, from the term planetary model, okay, yung itsura ng kanyang uh, atomic model ay para solar system. Kung saan yung nasa gitna ng nucleus, it represents yung para itsura ng sun. And then yung mga electrons, yung mga planets orbiting okay, around the nucleus. So, di ba, ang solar system ay merong uh, orbit na sinusundan yung mga uh, planets. So, sa idea ni Niels Bohr, ganun din daw yung ginagawa ng mga electrons. Okay? Now, ang um, latest na atomic model is what we call the quantum mechanical model. So, paano nga ba nagsimula itong quantum mechanical model? So, where does this model come from? So, merong tatlong scientist na nag tulong-tulong. Okay, yung mga ideas nila ay napagsama-sama to come up with the quantum mechanical model. So, una dito ay si Louis de Broglie. Okay? Si Louis de Broglie, sinabi niya na ang electrons, according sa kanyang mga experiments, ang electrons, uh, they behave with wave and particle properties at the same time. So, ibig sabihin, yung electrons daw can be uh, considered both as a wave and a particle. Okay, so, ibig sabihin na merong movements yung electrons at the same time, meron siyang particle properties katulad ng uh, protons and neutrons. Next is si Werner Carl Heisenberg. So, according naman kay Werner Carl Heisenberg, 
It is impossible to know both the position and velocity of an electron simultaneously. So, according naman sa kanyang theory, ay um, hindi or impossible yung malaman kung ano yung exactong location okay, or position ng electron within the atom at the same time kung gaano siya kabilis. Okay? So, this uh, is known as the uncertainty principle. Bakit siya uncertainty principle? Kasi there is nothing certain. Okay? Uh, since uh, continuous yung movement ng electron within the atom, hindi natin exactly mapipinpoint yung exact location ng uh, electrons within the atom. Unlike doon sa idea ni Niels Bohr kung saan may specific lang na orbit na iniikutan yung uh, mga electrons. So in this case, sa quantum mechanical model, uh, wala ng specific orbit na iniikutan yung electrons. Kasi nga, dahil continuously moving siya, hindi natin alam kung saan yung exactong location ng electron. So, possible na ngayon, in one second, nasa right side siya. Another second, nasa left side na siya. Another second, nasa southern part na siya ng atom. So, that is uncertainty principle by Werner Carl Heisenberg. Next is Erwin Schrödinger. So, Erwin Schrödinger, okay, he refined the wave particle theory proposed by De Broglie. So, mula doon sa idea ni De Broglie na yung electrons ay parehong uh, nagbe-behave as wave and particles. So, mas um, ginawa pa niyang detailed okay, yung explanation of this theory. Okay? At nung napag-aralan niya din ito, nag-develop siya ngayon ng equation that treated an electron like a wave and predicted the probable location of the electron around the nucleus. Okay. So, dito, nag-develop si Schrodinger ng equation para pwede nating ma-compute, ma-predict yung probable na location ng uh, isang electron within the uh, atom. Okay. Pero, in this particular topic, hindi na tayo magko-compute. Hindi na natin gagamitin yung kanyang equation. We will just focus on the developed atomic model, which is the quantum mechanical model. Now, the quantum mechanical model views an electron as a cloud of negative charge having a certain geometrical shape. Alam naman natin na ang electron, it carries a negative charge. Diba? Ang protons, positive charge, while the neutrons ay neutral. So, in this case, sa uh, quantum mechanical model, yung electrons daw ay hindi siya umiikot lang sa isang orbit. Okay? Pero yung electrons ay merong nasa isang sea of cloud. Okay? Kung saan punong-puno siya ng negative charge okay? na merong certain shape. Okay? Kaya nga rin itong quantum mechanical model ay tinatawag din na electron cloud model. Okay? So mamaya makikita ninyo kung ano nga ba yung cloud of negative charge na yon. Next, the quantum mechanical model shows how likely an electron could be found in various locations around the nucleus. So dito, dahil hindi naman nga eksaktong mapipinpoint yung location ng electron, sabi nga ng uncertainty principle, eto lang model na ito ay magpapakita ng probability kung nasa ang region of space or nasa ang part most likely ng uh, atom yung electron. Okay? Now, however, it does not give any information about how the electron moves from one position to another. Tandaan natin sa quantum mechanical model um, na nalalaman lang natin yung probable or yung possible location ng electron. Pero it will not give us the information kung paano nag-move yung electron. Okay? Kung paano ang movement niya. Now, electrons are in a 3D region around the nucleus. Yung 3D region na yon around the nucleus is what we call the atomic orbitals. Okay? So, yan. So, i-compare natin ngayon yung model na uh, Niels Bohr at saka sa quantum mechanical model. So, so uh, Ernest Rutherford and Niels Bohr model, ito, yung may mga orbits. Okay, di ba may orbits na nung time na to? And then sa planetary model, 
ni Niels Bohr, meron pa ring mga orbits, di ba? Now, dito kasi ang electrons nakastay lang dito sa orbits. So parang katulad siya ng mga planets, okay, na may iniikutang certain na orbit. As in nakastay lang sila doon, yun lang yung iniikutan nila, okay? Pero pagdating sa quantum mechanical model, dito makikita na ninyo, ito yung nucleus sa yun nasa gitna. So sa nucleus, mula sa nucleus, mapapansin ninyo, maraming dots sa paligid ng nucleus. Okay? So, ito na yung quantum mechanical model. Ma'am, ano itong mga dots na ito? Itong mga dots na ito, ito na ngayon yung electrons. Okay? Bakit siya naging itsurang dots na lang? Kasi nga tulad sinabi ko kanina, since uh, yung movement ng electrons ay hindi naman mapipredict. Okay? yung uh, direction niya kung saan siya pupunta. So, etong quantum mechanical model, okay, sa pinapakita dito, etong region of space na ito, ayan, yung malaking yan, yung bilog na yan, okay, mula doon sa nucleus, lahat yan pwedeng puntahan ng electrons. Okay? And dahil nga rin sa uncertainty principle, hindi natin akaya ma-pinpoint yung exact location ng electrons within this uh, cloud of negative particles. So, ibig sabihin, possible na yung electron nandito, okay, after one second, nandito na siya sa kabilang side, after another second, nandito siya sa kabilang side, and so on. Okay? Since continuous yung movement ng electron, hindi natin kaya ma-predict yung kanyang exact location. Okay? So, at the same time, ito rin na yung tinatawag na electron cloud. Kaya po siya tinatawag din na electron cloud model. Yan, ito yan. So, ito yung nucleus sa gitna, ito yung electron cloud. Okay? So, papansin ninyo, uh, mas maraming dots yung mas malapit sa nucleus. Tapos, mas kaunti na lang yung dots na nasa mas malayo sa nucleus. Now, uh, quantum mechanical model describes the probable location of electrons in atoms by describing the following. So, uh, yung probable location ng electrons, kaya nating madetermine using these four parts. First one is the principal or main energy level. Second one is the sublevel. Third one is the orbitals in each sublevel. And the fourth one is the spin of the electron. So isa-isahin natin. So first is the principal or main energy level. So it is the region of space around the nucleus. So yung nakita nyo kaninang part na malapit sa nucleus na puro mga dots, okay? That is the main energy level. Now it is also called as shells, okay? Lalo na sa ibang mga books. It indicates the relative size and energy of atomic orbitals. Okay? So ang symbol ng principal or main energy level is small letter n. And uh, an atom could have uh, the highest energy level, okay, seven energy levels. Okay? Pero syempre, depende yan sa atom. May mga atoms na one energy level lang, may mga atoms na three, four, five, but the maximum is seven energy levels. So, ganito yan. So, liba, the energy level is one, okay, ayan. So, ito yung... Uh, region of space. Tapos nasa gitna yung pinaka-nucleus. Uh, energy level 2 and energy level 3. So, ang papasin ninyo, as the number, okay, uh, main energy level increases, the size and energy of the orbital both increase. So, yung size mismo habang tumataas yung energy level hanggang uh, 7 energy level, palaki ng palaki yung mismo region of space kung nasaan yung atom. Ay, yung electrons rather. So, palaki ng palaki yung region of space kung nasaan yung electrons. So, palaki ng palaki din yung atoms. Next, letter B is the sub-level. Now, sub-level defines the orbital shape. So, ano ba yung shape? Okay, nung mismo uh, orbital, atomic orbitals. Now, meron tayong apat na sub-level. So, yung main energy level, mahati siya into four sub-levels. Okay? Namely, we have S, P, D, and F. Okay? So, ano itsura ngayon ito? Ito yan. So, sa S sub-level, ganito yung itsura niyan. So, isang buong bilog. Okay? Tapos, sa P sub-level, meron siyang dalawa. Okay? 
Pero magkadugtong yan, nasa gitna, ito yung pinaka-nucleus. Okay? And then sa D-sub-level, makita nyo, apat na. Diba? Yan. And then sa F-sub-level, ito, mas marami na siya. Okay? So, itong et, uh, mga orbitals na to or shapes na ito, ibig sabihin, yan yung region of space. Okay? Kung nasaan, possible yung electrons. Okay? So, ulitin natin na, this is the S, P, D, and F. Next, letter C is the orbitals. Okay? Orbitals in each sub-level. So, each sub-level has a different number of orbitals. So, pag S, 1 lang yung orbital niya, P, 3 orbitals, D, 5 orbitals, and F, 7 orbitals. So, ano itsura nito? Ito yan. So, sa S sub-level, ito siya. So, di ba, ito lang yung shape niya, bilog. So, ito lang yun. Dito lang yan. So, isang orbital lang. Ito na yun. Okay? Sa P sub-level naman, meron tayong tatlo. So, ito, pwedeng ito yung itsura niya, or ito. Or ito. So, tatlong orbitals for the P sub-level. For the D sub-level, ito naman, yung pangatlong uh, row. So, mapapansin ninyo, ito, yan, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then last, we have F sub-level. Ito na yan, yung nasa dulo. Yan. So, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 5. 7. So basically, ang pinagkaiba lang nila, yung S, isa lang yung orbital. So ito lang talaga yung pinaka-orientation niya. For the P, D, and F sub-levels, so magkakaiba na sila, di ba? So parami ng parami yung orbitals niya kasi parami ng parami yung possible orientation. Okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo dito sa P, di ba? Meron ito yung yellow, tapos ito yung orange. So iba yung... Uh, orientation niya. It is along the x-axis. Tapos ito, ito yung yellow, ito yung orange, it is along the z-axis. And then ito naman, yellow, tapos ito yung orange, it is along the y-axis. So, ibig sabihin, kaya dumami ngayon yung number of orbitals dahil dun sa kanyang orientation. So, papasin nyo, iba-iba yung positioning okay, ng ibang mga uh, orbitals na yan. Okay? Tandaan natin na Etong orbitals na to, ibig sabihin, ito yung region of space kung nasaan probable yung location ng electrons. And then last is the spin. Okay? Electrons act like they are spinning on an axis. Yung umiikot sa isang axis. Okay? It generates a specific magnetic field. Now, tandaan natin, no two electrons in the same orbital can have the same spin. So, kung halimbawa nasa loob siya ng S orbital, kung dalawang electrons yon dapat magkaiba yung kanilang spin. Okay? Yan. Ito yung isang diagram for the spin of the electron. So, ito yung electron, tapos ito yung nucleus, tapos may pag-ikot yung electron. Pero tandaan natin, tulad nga ng sinabi ni uh, Werner Carl Heisenberg, okay? so, hindi pa rin mapipredict yung specific location niya kasi yung direction ng movement niya kahit siya ay umiikot, okay? wala pa rin specific na uh, direction yun. So, possible siya na pag ganito, pwede naman na pag ganito yung ikot, pwede pag ganito. Okay? So, wala talagang specific direction. Okay? This is just for the diagram para makita niyo yung ibig sabihin ng spin ng electron. Okay? So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions about our uh, topic for today, kindly chat in our Facebook group chat or uh, comment in our Facebook group.